here we are given with a glass slab of thickness 1 meter. On this glass slab there is an incident ray. You can uh, see carefully that the angle with the plane surface is given as 60. So angle of incidence should be 30 degrees here. And it is also mentioned that after refraction the angle of refraction is given as 15 degrees. That uh, they are asking about how much time it will take to cross this ice block. So you can see inside the ice block it is travelling through this path AB. First uh, I am going to calculate the refractive index by applying Snell's law at this point. So at point A if I apply the Snell's law, outside medium 1 into sin of 30 degrees and inside medium mu into sin of 15 degrees. So from here I am getting the value of mu which will be equal to sin 30 degrees by sin 15 degrees. Let us keep it aside. Similarly, I know speed of the light inside any medium will be is equal to mu by c. Sorry, c by mu. c value is 3 into 10 power 8. A mu you can substitute this value. So this will be 3 into 10 power 8 divided by sin 30 divided by sin 15, that sin 15 will come to the numerator. Let us keep it aside. right? And to find out the distance travelled by the light ray inside this glass tube, I will use this right angle triangle ABC. So inside the triangle ABC, I can take uh, cos 15. Cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. Here adjacent side is AC and hypotenuse side is AB. So AC is known to us which is given as 1 meter divided by AB is what the path travelled by the light ray inside it. So from here you will be getting AB is equal to 1 by cos 50. Also we know that the light ray will be travelling with uniform speed, constant speed. So I can say that the time taken for its journey inside the ice slab will be is equal to distance divided by its speed as it is moving without any acceleration. The distance travelled is AB here which is 1 by cos 15 divided by the speed as we have written 3 into 10 power 8 divided by sin 30 into sin 15. That 30 sin 30 will go to the numerator. In the denominator if you see C into sin uh, 15 into cos 15 will be there. If I multiply and divide this total thing with 2, I will end up like this 2 sin 30 divided by 2 into 3 into 10 power 8 into sin 15 into cos 15. We know that 2 sin theta cos theta is nothing but sin 2 theta. So this 2 sin 15 cos 15 will be sin 30. So here also there is sin 30, here also there is sin 30, I can cancel it out. So the total time taken for the light ray to emerge out of the glass, uh, sorry, ice slab will be is equal to 2 by 3 into 10 power 8. That 10 power 8 I am taking to the numerator, so it will become 10 power minus 8 seconds. This will be the solution for this question. We will go into the next one.